Hey, and welcome to video number five. We're going to be talking about how you can rebrand your sales letter quickly and easily with a three step process that I'm going to teach you. So, step number one is to write with your own style and just let your creative mind flow. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in the next few slides. And step number two is don't worry about grammatical mistakes. I'm going to show you how you can find editors and proofreaders on Fiverr.com so that they can help you. So just write with your style and don't worry about grammatical mistakes. And step number three, I'm going to actually show you how to use Composer, which is a you know WYSIWYG HTML editor tool. Basically, in short, it allows you to edit your HTML sales letters and very very easily so let me move on to step number one and talk about your style what is your style basically how do your customers know you as or how do you write uh, that's the question that you should be asking yourself uh, the point here is that when you receive a sales letter or any type, type of written materials or anything like that and let's say for example that you have an existing customer base then when you write your sales letter people will come to know you the way you write and if they notice that the way you write is very very different uh, then they will notice that so but the point here is to write with your style write the way you are comfortable with you know you want to use benefits and keywords and things like that but write the way that you write don't worry about you know the way you should write and what I'm trying to get here at is that don't worry about grammatical mistakes allow your creative mind to flow and I know some of you are thinking oh I don't have any creative you know creativeness in my mind or anything like that um, but you do many of you do you might be you know left brain, left brain right brain and whatever but the key here is just let your creative mind flow and rewrite that sales letter I'm gonna show you I'm gonna teach you how to do exactly that now before you actually rewrite your sales letter you wanna look at some basic sales copywriting 101 and if you you're really good at rewriting sales copy then you you probably could skip this step However, I do want to provide as many resources as possible to make your life easy in terms of rewriting that sales letter. Now, one of the downsides of getting a private labor rights product is not all the sales letters are created equal and not all the sales letters are created well. So you want to make sure that it follows, you know, the 12 steps with David Frey and if not then I would advise you to tweak that sales letter so that you can get higher conversions now obviously I don't want you to focus way too much time on this and you know have you know just sit there and not really launch the product I want you to focus maybe about half an hour on this and that's it and then move on so the 12 step process here 12 step foolproof sales letter is great because it shows you you know what you need to do so 12 steps are to get attention identify the problem provide the solution present your credentials if you have any if you don't have any you know it's fine show the benefits give social proof make your offer inject scarcity and so forth now I know I got a limited amount of time with this right now but I do want to give you the resources that you know you can use so go on his blog look over he actually gives you some really good tips like headline templates how to blank or secrets of cat training revealed warning don't even think about training your cat until you you know read this ebook or in the this and that identify the problem provide the solution present your credentials and so forth and so forth so I wanted to provide you with that first uh, before we actually begin to uh, show you you know how to go about rewriting the sales letter so let me go over here and we'll begin to rewrite the sales letter. Let's see here. 
Now, some of you will receive the sales letter in you know HTML format, and then some of you will receive the sales letter in Word format, PDF format, whatever format it is. Um, what I normally try to do, if it is in a web-based format like this, the first thing I want to do is, of course, rewrite it. Or if I can rewrite it, you know, if it's really good already, I might tweak just parts of it. So what I want to do now is simply, if you look at the sales letter here, or the one that you have in front of you, whatever that is, the first thing you want to look at is headline. Does so it have a subheadline? You know, the introduction, you know, oh, stuff like that. So what I would normally do is instead of editing the HTML directly, which you'll be able to do in step number three, and however in step number one, my goal is simply just to get this in Notepad. So what I'll normally do is I'll open up Notepad and or WordPad, doesn't matter, just open up some sort of Word document type thing. So I got Notepad open up here. And with private label rights, as long as they follow the 12 steps, if they don't, then I'll tweak it. And the first thing I'll try to do is I'll try to rewrite the headline. So the headline right now is quickly tap into the lucrative cat niche without spending a fortune or hours of your valuable time creating the content yourself. Now obviously in this case the product is the report is cat niche but it is selling to people who want to resell the report kind of thing so it's focused towards online publishers and online business resellers so in that case you could go to David Fry's system and, and just use some of his templates like okay warning uh, or secrets of let's see warning secrets of People will always want to know secrets. I found that. I can definitely tell you that. Um, shortcuts, secrets, tricks, resources, stuff like that. So if I were wanting to rewrite this, I could say something like secrets of uh, lucrative or profitable cat niche revealed and I could also combine that with the warning warning don't even think about or think of going into the cat training niche until you read this something like that and then most of the time you want a subheadline which supports the headline and you could say expert cat trainer reveals all something like that something to support the headline and then if we look at here we have this here what I'll normally do is copy this over because when you send the stuff to the proof the proofreader and the editor and the person who's editing your, your grammar then they're probably not going to look at this and fix this so you're gonna need it in some sort of notepad or or word document type thing so it says dear online publisher now you have a tw 12 completely customizable newsletter blah 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 And the way I would normally rewrite this, which you can do anything you want, is I would start with the fact. I would say something like fact, cat training is an 
evergreen and profitable niche according to some sort of statistic. Um, and then I would just follow David Frey's system of, you know, 12 steps. Number one, you know, get their attention, identify the problem. You know, are you say something like, are you sick and tired of, you know, fat here? And uh, so you got their attention, uh, present a problem and then solution the solution would be your product and then so forth and so forth so this is basic sales copywriting 101 I don't want to go way too much into it because this could be a whole new different course but you want to use that you want to definitely follow his thing you can also go on Google and type in copywriting keywords and just find like words and phrases like 58 online uh, copywriting power words power words is the keyword uh, to finding you know like free free gift limited time and you know just sprinkle a bunch of that stuff throughout your whole uh, sales letter so what I would normally do is what I would rewrite the sales letter I wouldn't totally rewrite it but I would rewrite you know at least the headline the subheadline part of the introduction and a little bit of the middle and at the ending as well so I would go through and use a 12 step system and use some power words and phrases and make sure that you you know express the benefits and the what's in it for the viewer type questions once you're done with that I would basically save this as a word document so I'd create a brand new word document plop this in here and then I would go to Fiverr and then step number two what I do after I write or rewrite the sales letter is I send it off to somebody to edit and proofread I really don't have time to sit there and fix my grammatical mistakes and with this process I found that I don't run into you know writer's block I'm able to pump out sales letters within an hour or two simply because I don't care about you know proofreading so what I want to do now is I want to go over to fiverr.com and show you how to find proofreaders very very quickly who can edit your sales that are just for five bucks or ten bucks or whatever depending on how many words you have so let me go ahead and show you that so I use fiverr.com for all of my proofreading you know in terms of proofreading documents and so forth I love Fiverr I've never had a bad experience and the way I go about finding people to proofread my documents I use several different people at different times and I go to Fiverr I go to the search section here and just type in proofread then I click on rating and then I open I look for you know in this area specifically people who will proofread anywhere from 1500 words to 2000 or 2500 um, because that usually tells me okay these people are good at what they do you know they can read fairly fast and pick up stuff fairly quickly so I'll open these up and these up and I'll often look for people that have top rated sellers and you know different things like that another thing to look for is people who have this here that's express that means that they will turn around uh, proofread your document within 24 hours and send that back to you so I'll open these up I'll send them a message and say hey are you still free whoever contacts me first and I will usually analyze it that way and then I'll go out and uh, you know choose that person unless I realize that they're in a different country for example this person's in the United Kingdom um, I'll wait and then they have Express near them so it, that tells me okay good they're gonna turn around within 24 hours so this is the method that I use specifically number one don't worry about grammatical mistakes get somebody else to do it and number two get somebody else to do it so once that's done they will normally send you a word document with you know changes and stuff like that in it 
So we're going to take that document and I'm going to show you next how you can, you know, add that to the actual sales letter web page. Now, once you're done with you know, where you've received the document from the proofreader, you can take that and you can, you know, just add that to Composer to the HTML file using Composer. So I'm going to show you how to edit with Composer. First thing I want to do is show you how to download and install it and basically where to do that. And then I'm going to show you how to edit the HTML sales letter using Composer. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now I'm just going to use this as an example. Let's say that they've just sent me the sales letter document and normally you, they will have like track changes enabled. So if you're in Microsoft Word and you see something like, let's see here, I'll show, click track changes and you do something like, you know, they delete this and then you see marks and stuff and blah, blah, blah. In, in order to get rid of these track changes, uh, you will need to accept the changes that are made. So what I would normally do to get rid of these track changes when I get, you know, when I receive the document, and this is just to tell you what they did, what I would normally do is I click here, click on final, and click accept, and accept all changes in document. That way, as you can see, it's this is made the changes are final and then what I'll do from this point is I'll copy this to notepad and to do that I'll just basically click control A to select all or of course you can go up here and select all as well but press control A to select all or do whatever you need to select all the, the text and then I'll basically just copy that over to notepad and the reason being is when you transfer you know text from a notepad to the HTML editing tool then you get rid of all the code but if you copy stuff from Word you know a Microsoft Word document to the web HTML editor then it gets all funky and you get all these issues and stuff like that so we'll go ahead and do that so if I go to sales that are here and let's say for example that I want to edit the sales letter which is this file here so what I'll normally do is I'll go to sales letter and I will open it up using a program com called composer now I do want to show you how to download composer if you go to Google and it starts with a K so it's composer with a Z E R so it's K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R and you click on this so you go to Composer here you click on download for Windows now if you do have a Macintosh they do have that available so you gotta go click on downloads here and you'll be able to see that you can download in different languages in Windows Macintosh and in Linux so just wanna make that point there if you are using a Mac so go ahead, download it, install it, and we'll begin to use it right away. So if you need to pause this video right now, do that now. So I will now assume that you have Composer, and if you've installed it, we're going to edit this file here. So normally what I'll do is I'll open up the file just to view it first to make sure that I am editing the right file. If that's the case, then I'm going to right-click, click on Open With, and click on Composer. Now if you are using a Mac then I recommend you open Composer first and then find that file and open it up. So right now I'm looking at the sales page and I've noticed that the the header is that the actual headline is actually part of the header so Let's say that I was going to totally revamp this and totally get rid of the header and the footer and just create a brand new e-cover. So if I do that and I just delete that and I do decide to do that, I can do that later. Um, but what I want to do now is just focus on the sales letter itself. 
Now I'm going to minimize this so you can see it better because I know it's hard to see it. All right, so I've minimized it. I've fit it in the box so you can see it. And what I'll normally do is I'll open up Notepad where I've copied my information in here and I'll simply drag and drop it over there. Now Composer is so easy to use as you can see here and let me just give you a quick run through. Um, these red lines are tables and basically you'll want to just edit the text. It's you if you want to create like a new headline put new headline here and you highlight it you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you know with these play around you can change the font here you can make it in the middle format the middle you can add bullet points you can add number bullet points you can change the color dark red usually does you can change the font Courier, Times New Roman, and change it back. You can add images, you can add tables, other tables, you can tweak the tables, you can add links, and so forth. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to use. So what I'll normally do is I'll have this open, and I will basically copy this over to here. And normally sometimes I'll put in the quotations too, like secrets of profitable cat niche, secrets of the profitable cat niche revealed, warning for, uh, let's see, warning, don't even think of going in warning to online publishers. Don't even think about going into the cat training niche until you read this. And then we'll want to add our subheadline expert cat trainer reveals all so you don't have to make the same mistakes. And let's say I want to change the color of the subheadline to maybe blue and I want to make that smaller. I can do that here too. And as you can see, it's very easy. Make sure you save your files just in case something happens. From the desk, the desk of first name, we'll just say John Smith. Everybody uses John Smith. Um, but let's do that. And we can change this. You know, text is very easy to change. You can see that this image is within the table. So, you know, we could delete this, we could add our own, you know, stuff, you know. So, really, really, as you can see, it's very, very easy to edit HTML files as long as you have the right resources and tools. And fortunately, and best of all, it's, it's all free. So, once you're done with that, click on Save. And if I click Exit, and I open this up in Google Chrome as you can see here I've gotten rid of the header and everything and I was easily able to change everything and that's how easy this is